Good morning, and welcome to the first edition of Morning Musings. I'm hoping this is a time that we can share each day, some time with our Lord and with each other, so that our faith might be grounded and that we can face the challenges of living out our faith day to day. Would you begin praying? Would you begin by praying with me Luther's morning prayer? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I give you thanks, blessed Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected me through the night from all harm and danger. I ask that you would also protect me today from sin and all evil, so that my life and actions may please you. Into your hands I commend myself, my body, my soul, and all that is mine. Let your holy angels be with me, so that the wicked foe may have no power over me. Amen. As we begin our study, I've chosen a passage from the book of Psalms, Psalm 119, the longest psalm uh, in scripture, and reflects uh, the desire of the author to know more deeply God's way and God's uh, Torah, God's teachings. So reading in Psalm 119, beginning at verse uh, 33. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I will observe it to the end. Give me understanding that I may keep your law and observe it with my whole heart. Lead me in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Turn my heart to your decrees and not to selfish gain. Turn my eyes from looking at vanities. Give me life in your ways. Confirm to your servant your promise, which is for those who fear you. Turn away the disgrace that I dread, for your ordinance are good. See, I have longed for your precepts, in your righteousness, give me life. As I thought about what we might spend our time reflecting upon during these uh, morning musings, it occurred to me, uh, and I remembered the name Catherine Kolb. Now that's a name that may or may not be familiar to you, but Catherine was working at the United States Embassy in Tehran in 1979. And she was one of the 440, or I'm sorry, one of the 52 hostages that was taken by the Iranian Revolution uh, and held in captivity for 444 days. You can imagine what an ordeal that must have been for her and for her fellow Americans. While she was in captivity, Catherine decided that she needed something to anchor her in those difficult, difficult times, something that would ground her in her faith to face day by day her challenges. Most days she was held in isolation. At best, she maybe would have two or three of the other hostages near her. So day after day, she was locked up, if you will. What could she do that would help her become grounded and rooted to face with faith those days? What Catherine decided to do was to recall from memory Luther's small catechism. She spent the early days of her captivity remembering those passages from Luther's small catechism that she had learned in junior high when she was a young person in a Lutheran church. And after much effort, she remembered those words that Luther had written long, long ago. And after she had remembered them every day, she would say to herself, Luther's small catechism, and it would give her a foundation, uh, a root in her faith to meet and face another day in captivity. And I guess the reason I thought of her is that, you know, this time during the pandemic, a lot of us feel trapped. A lot of us feel kind of isolated and alone. And so maybe if we spend some time in Luther's small catechism, we also might uh, find a ground, uh, a faith, 
a root for us that will sustain us during these days of isolation. Luther's small catechism is an interesting book. It's a little book, and it was written to be a little book. Luther had traveled about Germany in his day during the early days of the Reformation. He found that in many places, the basic faith of, of the Reformation wasn't known or being taught. And so he wrote and published in 1529, Luther's small catechism. It was meant to be used in the home. It was meant to be taught by the head of the household to his family. Another reason I guess I thought of Luther's small catechism is that many of us are now stuck at home. So here was a tool written 1529 to be used by people of faith in their homes that they might grow their understanding of what it means to walk with God. So I want us to spend our days uh, looking at Luther's small catechism. There is a large catechism as well. It's kind of a teacher's manual that Luther wrote later to assist that head of a household. Luther's small catechism is exactly that, a catechism. A uh, catechism is a book of instruction that's written using the method of question and answer. And so Luther chose six foundational pieces to the faith that he would teach through a series of questions and answers. Those six pieces that he chose were the Ten Commandments, the Apostles' Creed, the Lord's Prayer, the Sacrament of Holy Baptism, the Sacrament of Holy Communion, and the Office of the Keys and Confession. So I'm going to propose that for the next few days, each day we take a part of Luther's small catechism and dig in deep. Not only what did Luther say, but how do we understand these foundational teachings of our faith? Now, you might want to have a catechism yourself at home while we go through these days. Uh, this is my small catechism that I keep uh, with my Bible and part of my devotional life. You can uh, hunt and search and find perhaps your catechism from uh, years ago, uh, or you can certainly go online and find an online edition of Luther's Small Catechism. It's not required that you have a catechism to join us each day, but um, it might be helpful to have it with you as we walk along. Uh, you could take some notes in it, perhaps, and it may become for you a devotional uh, for your daily walk with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I hope you'll join me for the next few days. Uh, we're going to be posting this at 10 a.m. Monday through Saturday um, on our Christ the King website. Um, you can join us. Uh, you can share that YouTube video. Uh, but we hope that these days are meaningful for you. One of the reasons I wanted to do morning musing is that I wanted us to keep current with the prayer requests that we receive at Christ the King. Um, we record our services for Sunday, usually on Wednesday or Thursday, and sometimes we have requests uh, between the time we record and the time we post those worship videos uh, where we have a prayer requests. And I, I always feel bad that we can't share with you in a, in a worship setting or in a devotional setting those prayer requests. And so uh, I hope another uh, benefit of getting together daily for devotions is I can be current with uh, requests that we have before us for our prayers. And, and so this morning, as we end our time together, I'm going to ask that we end our time in prayer. I'm going to ask that uh, you and I pray for Doyle uh, uh, Henley. He has been diagnosed with uh, COVID-19. Uh, I also ask us to pray for Lupe Salas, um, she is the sister uh, of Jenny Cruel. Uh, she also has been diagnosed with COVID-19. And of course, we pray for all the victims of this horrible pandemic. 
Would you keep in your prayers Elaine Kaufman? Uh, Elaine has uh, been undergone some knee surgery and uh, she has developed a blood clot uh, because of that. And uh, she's doing quite well in her rehab, but we want to pray that she continues. Another one of our members who is facing a rehab and a rather extenuous rehab is uh, Cole Bardelli. Uh, Cole is a young man who was involved in an accident uh, and has suffered severe injury from those. He's home now, uh, but he has a long way to go. And so please keep Cole in your prayers as well. We want to pray uh, for Marion Scholar. Uh, Marion uh, has been diagnosed with an infection, C. diff. Uh, she's on antibiotics, doing well, but we just pray that this antibiotics does well by her and that she gets better and better every day. Um, so there are other prayers, and I'll end with a time of silence in our prayer time that you can add other prayers. If you have prayer requests that you want me to use during this time, please don't hesitate to let us know at CTK your prayer request. Uh, either email us or call us so that we will know those. Would you pray with me? May the Lord be with us as we lift our hearts into the Lord. Gracious and most heavenly Father, we give you thanks for Martin Luther. His writings and his teachings to this day still guide us and root us in our faith. We pray, Heavenly Father, like the psalmist, that we delight in your teachings and find in your teachings a guide for our path. Bless this time together that we might, as we pray and reflect together, grow closer to you and to one another. As we pray, we pray for those in our community as they face challenges even greater than the pandemic or other injuries. We certainly pray for all the victims of the pandemic, and we especially add to that list uh, Do uh, Doyle Henling and uh, Lupe Salas. Would you please grant them uh, doctors, nurses, technicians, therapists, all the amazing people uh, who can offer them healing and hope. We pray for others in our community, Heavenly Father. We pray for Elaine and Cole as uh, they go through their rehab day by day. Uh, strengthen them um, so that they can one again, once again return to a full and active life. We pray, Heavenly Father, for all of us as we live out these days of sheltering in place. We sense our loneliness for one another. We pray for our seniors who often face these days unable to be with others. All these things, Heavenly Father, we offer into your care. And we would now name before you others that are in our personal prayers. And now, O oh Lord, hear the prayer that our prayers that our Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now may God bless your day and your journey, and I look forward to us sharing a time together. God bless.